Yeah. Huh. Hi, Cizrin here with another Path of Exile video for Crucible, and today we're going to talk about Divergent Gems. These are special gems that you get by using the Grand Heist with unusual gems as the reward, and they can actually be really useful. So I'm going to give some examples of useful gems today that might help out your build and some can actually be build enabling. So the way you get these is through the blueprints and they come from repository blueprints and tunnel blueprints. And it'll look like this for here it says repl repl replica or experimented items, but it'll say um, the gems instead, unusual gems. And these are called alternate quality gems and there are several useful ones. And on top of just being able to get gem as a reward, you can get these primary grading lens or secondary grading lens. And that'll let you use it on a gem. You need to put one quality into it and then you use the primary grading lens and it'll give you one of the other ones. So how do you know what's good to get? Well, if we go here, here we can look at inspiration. So you go to PUE Wiki or PUE DB and you search for the gem they're using. It's honestly pretty useful to go through all the gems of the build you're using and seeing if there's anything useful for you. Now, do remember, you cannot have awakened alternate quality gems, right? Like you cannot have a awakened divergent void manipulation. So you will have to choose between awakened gems and the uh, alternate quality. But say for example here, with inspiration, supported steals of 0.5% reduced mana cost per quality. So by stacking things like this, this is a good way to get zero reduced or a zero cost. So I'm going to go through a few examples here. But before we begin, uh, if you are going to be using the primary regarding lens or secondary regarding lens, the way you can see if you're likely to get it is by going on PUEDB. And you can see here, for example, that just the normal one, with 1% quality um, is 50 weight, but we're already, we're starting with this. So then it is a hundred weight that, so very, very likely that you're going to get anomalous and a 10 weight that you're going to get divergent. Now, this is very, very important because we now know that if, if I start with the superior and I use the secondary regrading lens, it's a very big chance I'm going to get anomalous and a very small chance I'm going to get divergent. However, if it is already anomal uh, ano anomalous, hard word. Uh, if it is already anomalous, then it is a lot more likely it's going to hit divergent twice as likely uh, than if you start with superior. So very, very important to know. Another example here is kinetic blast, where here it is. Um, yeah, you can see the weights. The same thing It is better if you already have the divergent. Now, let's look at some really good examples as well. Herald of Agony, Divergent Herald of Agony, very popular because it gives you an additional 20% chance to poison. Now, this is extremely good for multiple reasons. They get a lot stronger with Enhance if your mana can handle it. Increased duration, this is more reduced mana cost, really useful again for trying to get your mana cost to hit zero and making everything be free. Petrified Blood, this is additional damage mitigation and it will make more of the damage be lost over th uh, three seconds, but puts you at uh, a bigger, more protection against one shots. Then here we have Arrogance. This is increased life reservation and like looking up everything in your build like this, very useful, very good because there can be so many. Precision is uh, additional damage, whereas the normal one is just area of effect. This is not going to matter at all if you're a single player, but here you can actually get increased damage. Uh, void manipulation, this one is huge because this is literally chaos damage to leech's life. So if you are a build, like for example, impending doom and you don't otherwise have access to leech, huge. Greater multiple projectiles also gives reduced mana cost. Really good to try to get your mana cost to zero. Animate guardian, this gives minion max life. The normal one only gives movement speed. So this is huge. So very, very useful. Kinetic blast, this gives you pierce. Maybe it like saves you from picking up pierce on the tree. Spark has a lot of useful ones. You have Phantasmal, which is converted to Chaos. That makes it very, very build enabling. Then you have Anonymous. Uh, wow. Hard words, dude. Anomalous for Pierce. And you have Divergent for additional projectiles. 
And we have Malevolence, which is normally just AoE, but here on Anomalous, you have uh, increased skill effect duration, really good for poison skills, and Divergent is increased damage with ailments. So, really, really good. And again, the way you do this is you um, go to the Rogue Harbor by clicking like this, and I would recommend running a bunch of Deception Heists. This is how you unlock the cheap unveils from Wakano. So if I go, I'm just going to go grab and put anything in here. But uh, you'll notice that there are different reveals and you get these reveals by running different of the normal heists. And um, these will then give you reveals. The normal ones are just very expensive. So here you can see it's 3,826 coins to reveal wing. But with Yana, it's only 2,296. So most people will buy deception or perception heists. Deception is better. Why do you ask? That is because deception, you don't have to open doors on the way out. You open one or two doors on the way in, and then on the way out, it's your home free. You just run out. Perception, you'll have to open doors on the way in and on the way out, so they're not as popular. But either way, really, really good to know. There are useful heists of other things too, like the trinkets useful. You can incubate an item on this, and obviously it has good rewards. So if you're going to be running a lot of heists, do that first. And uh, yeah, the replicas are worth not sleeping on as well. But good to keep in mind that there are other ones. Another really useful item is Ashes of the Stars that drops from Eater because it gives quality to the active gems. This will affect things like auras, active gems, etc. And that quality can be really build enabling, especially for really good gems like Spark. Either way, I hope this helps you. Feel free to mention some other really good alternate quality gems that people can look out for in the comments because these were just a few examples and there are so many that are really good build enabling and some that are really expensive. So either way, thanks for watching. Stop if you like the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.